Death by Flying Car. I'm Rebecca Lieb. I'm Jason Horton. And this is Ghost Town. For years, they've tried to invent a flying car. Yeah. All right. Cars are great. Flying's great. Why don't we put them together? Yeah, ever since they saw Greece and they saw the car flying into the horizon, they were like, we need to do this for real. Which is very weird. I just watched Greece recently and I really? saw that. And I, I saw that again and I was like, and I know it's, it's, it's like a musical thing, but it's just. It's like a surrealist and commodity movie that's just 40 year olds in high school. Like, there's yeah. There's special about it, you know? Yeah. Everyone in there is like, look like a bunch of parents. Mm hmm. Just dressed in leather jackets. But they weren't even like, they look like our parents. Like, they look like they're younger than I am now, but they should be my parent. Yeah. It's very, anyway, flying cars. This is, I mean, we're around, we're around the same year because we're going to mm-hmm. be talking about the Pinto. Are you familiar with the car, the Pinto? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My mother had one. Yeah. Um, the mother that smoked mm-hmm. while she was having, you know, she was well, having naturally. me. What else is she supposed to do? The one, she was driving around a Pinto that if you crash in the back of it, it would mm-hmm. explode. Yeah, yeah. That's like a Volkswagen Beetle and Rabbit, too, yeah. right? They had the engines in the back. The back, yeah. So a dangerous car. So they're like, you know what? This is the perfect car to slap some wings on. Yeah, let's make this baby fly. What What can go wrong? Nothing. No, 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 no. Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep listening. It's <laughs> actually... It and it's no, amazing. Turns out it's actually Everyone everything. Everyone has one. Uh, Henry Smolinski mm-hmm. was like, I'm going to... Invent the flying car. Yeah, what's Watch his deal? me. Well, he, in 1959, he joined Rocket Dyne as a project engineer. So he had... Yeah, he had engineering background. He had engineering background. So He's it wasn't... like... Because we usually we'll talk about these things, and it's like a dude in a chair. You know, it's right. like, it's usually like a guy with an idea. That's a Lawn Chair Larry episode. Mm-hmm, that's right. Which I still think was... It was successful in that respect. Yeah, he did fly. He did. He did fly. I mean... And he in, came down alive. Yes, yeah, so... Also a feat. He was more successful in that respect mm-hmm. so henry he did have experience working in you know engineering mm-hmm. aerospace he left to form his own company with his friend hal blake cool mm-hmm. name huh yeah just two first names is real names very cool it's like i grew up with a guy named doug freddy and my dad would be like oh the kid with two first names oh that's a cool name doug freddy they founded advanced vehicle engineers in van nuys California. Oh, you didn't see that coming. Uh-uh. You didn't see that valley coming. Nice, baby. It Van all happens. Nizzle, <laughs> which was very exciting to me as I was researching this. Anything that happens in, in California, especially in Van Nuys, is of like. Of course it did, though. I, I want to. This is just there. What used to be an amusement park in Van Nuys for a very yeah. short amount of time. I think we went to we, the yeah, Valley we Relics to, and we saw. We, did. The, we saw some relics of that amusement park. My dad time. grew up in Van Nuys. Yes. We went so, to Van Nuys High. So Van Nuys is if you're not from California, it's a it's I like it. Van Nuys is great. You yeah. know what I mean? If if, if I was gonna if you can afford like a condo, the mm-hmm. only place I think I can afford yeah. it close by is Van Nuys. It's just like the sprawling valley culture of LA. Like you think about the different parts of LA. I think you, like from an outsider's perspective, it's like Bel Air, uh, you know, Beverly Hills, and it's like Hollywood, like West Hollywood, and there's like down, downtown. It's a lot of we stuff do a lot of stuff downtown because it's it's older. Well, the Van Nuys is this giant part of the valley that is kind of has been underdeveloped or developed slowly. Um, it's a lot of earthquakey shit happening in there. It's its own beast. So I think this is a perfect place. Plus, there's a lot of uh, like airporty type things in Van Nuys. Yeah, you have and room. You there's have room, room to experiment. Also, I think Beverly Hills 90210, the original, original was, I think their set was in Van Nuys. I'm mm. just throwing Yeah, just Van Nuys culture. has a rich history and don't don't ever doubt it. And this is, they've founded advanced vehicle engineers, not, mm-hmm. this is, it's advanced. No, this is not baby stuff, vehicle engineers. I like when they just take the name and they just throw <laughs> yeah, the word advanced in front like of it. They're like mechanical, and it's like obviously. So their first and only model of mm-hmm. flying car was the AVE, Advanced Vehicle Engineers. Mm-hmm. Mizar named after one of the stars that formed the Big, Di- uh, Big Dipper's handle. So it's, oh. it's, is it Mizar or Mizar? Or? I don't know. Mizar? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, well, it's like the Big Dipper, because the North Star is also in the Big Dipper. They're like, we're not going to call it the North Star. Uh-huh. No, we're going to call it, what's the star that's kind of part of the handle? Kind of low key? The Mizar Star. 
Is that My what star. it is? I don't know. Well, then that's that's what it's called. Okay. So they take a regular car mm-hmm. and they just slap an airplane on top of it. <laughs> Why? Like, Why? <laughs> you, we, they, like, we don't need more than this. These cars are almost perfect. Almost. Well, they do modify they them both. It's not like they take the car and then modify the plane or they mm, no. take the plane and modify the car. They, they, they four do more mod- cup holders in. Yep. <laughs> they have an A-track that can play whatever. You can have a sunroof or not. Yeah. So they just fit them, like retrofit them together, and then they just take off down the runway, come down a few hundred miles at another airstrip, detach mm-hmm. from the airframe, and then drive the car away. So it's I can't even who got in this car? Uh <laughs> unfortunately the inventors. <laughs> <laughs> As you'll find out. I, but you know what? I respect that, though. They didn't send someone else in there. They're like, well, no. let's get in this shit. Nope. Henry and Hal did it. The prototypes of the Mizar were made by sawing up a Cessna Skymaster. Naturally. And I've been up in a Cessna. Have I you? Am. No. But that's like a... like a, Is that a it's seaplane? It's a tiny... Like, it's a... Yeah. It, land, it can land on... Yeah. No, no. Uh, no, or? Cessna, they're just like a... It's oh, a okay. two-seater. Okay. But I, my brother has a pilot's license, oh. and he took me up when he was a teenager, and I was also a teenager. And we, I know, it's like... How how about you go up with your brother that you fight with constantly that you still have like bite marks on your arms from? He's gonna take you in this tiny tin can uh, that there's still an ashtray in because that's how old it was. <laughs> yeah. uh, only time I've really feared for my life. The Skymaster's cabin and front engine were removed, and the rest of the plane attached to the Pinto. The wings sitting over the roof, and the pusher engine snuggling up against the hatchback. The Pinto was backed into the airframe. And four high strength, high strength. Yeah, not low, not medium. No. Self locking pins were used to hook everything together. There's pin- pins, though. There's still pins. I know. But there's four of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the driver's controls were adapted so that in flight, the driver po- uh, slash pilot could control the airframe's ailerons by turning the steering wheel right or left mm-hmm. and the elevator by pushing and pulling the wheel. This seems. This <sighs> seems very. Um, Advanced, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There was pedals to control the rudder that were also installed, and all the flight controls inside the car. It's like were... they reverted backward. It's like all of the cars technology. They're like, ah, we don't need this shit. Those yeah, I pedals. don't. I, I don't understand. We're attached to the airframe via connections that ran underneath the driver's side of the car. The Pinto's dashboard was outfitted with flight instruments like airspeed and rate of climb gauges and altimeter. It's altimeter, like, right? Yeah, but also like a. I just want to say like a Pinto too. They're like. What's the least sexy car that we can do this with? I didn't want to do it with like a fun, like a Cadillac or something. I think it might have to do with how kind of like big boxy? and strong and bulky, okay. uh, strong and bulky they were. Okay. I would imagine An SUV, like a no. blinged out Uber XL. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, they didn't have Uber back then. <laughs> no, she shut up. She yeah, shut no, up. they didn't. Uh, <laughs> a directional gyro, a fuel pressured gauges, a throttle, and radio navigation equipment. Cool. Easy. Great. Nope, not at all. (laughs) The Mizar could use both the car engine and the aircraft engine to, for the launch to shorten the takeoff roll. Okay. I kind of, it's almost, you know, how like like an electric car will have both gas and electric. So Mm -hmm. it's kind of like sharing these two things at once. I guess it's like, Somewhat of a pioneer of that, at least mm-hmm. how it sounds. Once in the air, the craft had a cruising speed of 130 miles an hour, a range of 1,000 miles, and a ceiling of 12,000 feet. Upon landing, the car's brake system would stop the craft on just 530 feet of runway. Again, I think all of this is, like on paper, sounds good. I guess. But even like saying a car's brake system is going to stop an airborne car from careening into a road seems crazy. On an early test flight conducted by the pilot Charles Red Janice in 1973, of course, the right wing strut mounting attachment failed not long after takeoff. Rod Mm -hmm. knew turning the craft would put too much stress on the unsupported wing and might rip clean off, so he had to put the miser straight down in a bean field and drive the vehicle. Airframe still attached back to the airport. I bet Red loved all of this. He it's like from his war days. He fucking loved it. He rode that missile down. They got. Tons of publicity, though. Mm-hmm. And people were like, hey, listen, this seems like as close as we're going to get. It's the 70s. Everything yeah. is great. Cigarettes are good for you. Exactly. This is perfect. 
and Fen my Fen. Is that the seventies or nah, the later? It's, it's late eighties. I think late eighties, early nineties. Yeah, Mizar became a hard to ignore sensation, and Galpin Ford Sepulva. I know we know Galpin yeah, Ford. Yeah, we do. Right? Yeah, um, <laughs> Galpin Ford got in on it. Yeah, so this is now the North Hills area mm-hmm. signed on as a national distributor. Wow, wow they were just wow, like they're like we. We've got some really modest Toyotas that you could peruse, or we have this flying Pinto that yeah, we, we I, also have on the market. As long as they're high strength mm-hmm. pins. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Smolinski, who's the creator, mm-hmm. he wooed the public with sales pitches and press conferences promising a vehicle that was simple. There's a quote from him. A woman can easily put the two systems together or separate them without help. A woman? Yeah. Without help? Yeah. We're dealing with I'll cars. I'll it when I see it. <laughs> We're dealing with cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get and back. flying. Get back to scrubbing that bathtub. It was also pretty affordable. $15,000. That's not bad. <laughs> Doesn't that sound really cheap? For airborne death trap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. The 4000 for the car, 5000 for the air engine, and 5000 mm. for the airframe. Uh, you know what I mean? So it seems like pretty, Great. pretty like doable. Christmas came yeah. early. Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> One of the press conferences foreshadowed tragedy as the LA Times reported, quote, the room was full of skeptics and some technical mm-hmm. questions were not fully answered. The air car people acknowledge there are problems, mm-hmm. but we feel we have the answers, they said. That's just the, f- imagine we being feel, like, is it safe? He's like, I have a good feeling about you know, this. I feel like a lot of things are always happening. Do I want to... Market it as something that is revolutionary? Maybe. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know that kind of self-esteem. Yeah. Go, you know. And then they, to fix all the problems, they mm. went to patreon.com slash ghost town pod. <laughs> oh, okay. And they got a bunch of bonus episodes. Mm-hmm. That helped them through. Listen, you can, you can listen to podcasts on your commute in the air or on the road. Yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere. Put those earbuds in and just like go for it. Van Nuys, wherever you're trying to get. There's tons Galpin there. Galpin will take care of you. And <laughs> Galpin for, they're not a sponsor, but we're giving them a freebie anyway. <laughs> we're plugging them. And if you could rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts, that'd be great. And you mm-hmm. can also message us. If you get, listen, you got a pictures of a Pinto mm-hmm. intact. Pinto pics. Yeah, maybe we'll some old school pics. Pinto pics. <laughs> Check us out on Instagram, Ghost Town Pod. Yeah. Do you think Elon Musk saw this flying car when he was a child? Yeah. He was sitting on his. He's like, I will. He's like, what's his? What's his voice sound like? <laughs> I will. He's very mono, but he's like lower. Yeah. He's like monotone. I will build cities under Van Nuys, yeah. and I will date <laughs> celebrities. <laughs> so let's get to the summer '73, baby. Oh, let's get there. Another prototype with a different plane engine was unveiled and taken for a series of taxiing flight tests over a span of three months at the Ventura County Airport. Nice. On September 11th. (laughs) No comment. (laughs) Note, Rebecca's laughing. I'm not. Okay, I'm good. Janice (laughs) Red. He's back. Red is back. What's his first name, Janice? No, his last name's Janice. Oh, okay, Red. Red, Beanfield Red. Yep. Was not available conveniently for a scheduled <laughs> test flight. Oh, you had a prior commitment? So you know what? They're going to put the money where their mouth is. Yeah, Smolinski and Blake, mm-hmm. which is Henry and Hal, took the miser up themselves. They're like, we believe. Good. You know, I, I do really respect that. I do. No, I, I do. I respect those fucking dumb idiots. They, they, they front-lined it. Mm-hmm. According to Matt Grisham, who was the airport manager, the men had made an agreement with the airport that they would not they would notify him before each flight so he can local uh, alert local police, mm-hmm. fire officials, let everyone know, listen, yeah. this is something everyone very nuts is going to be happening here. Something apeshit is happening in your vicinity. Gather around. So, of course, Henry uh, Smolinski made no contact with them. Mm-mm. He's like, I was just going to do it. We're good. Yeah, he doesn't want to, like, stress people out, you know? And after watching the Mizar take off, Grisham ran to the air control tower to radio the craft. As he neared the tower, he heard the airport's crash horn shriek, and he turned to see a column of thick black smoke rising up Mm -hmm. from below where the Mizar should have been. The alarm had been lit by Danny Edwards, an air traffic controller in the tower, who had been watching the Mizar through binoculars. 
About two minutes after takeoff, he saw the craft's right wing fold in. The miser twisted, then fell with various parts flying off. Another witness was on his lawn, and he watched the plane fall, the plane car fall. Plane car. Strike the top of a tree, crash onto a pickup truck parked in the street, and burst into flames. Hit four cows. Molinsky and Blake... Uh, Smolinski had a broken finger and Blake had a boo-boo on his head. Nope, both killed instantly. <laughs> I knew when you said boo-boo that you were lying to me. According to local coroner, though, he wasn't able to determine, uh, you know, was like if they died from the crash industries, burns, or smoke inhalation. It or was all probably, three, It doesn't you know? really matter, it's yeah. It's a mix and match. After the investigation of the National Transport Safety Board, reported that this particular version of the miser had several problems. I mean... Oh, you think? Oh, thanks for the investigation. Even though the Pinto was not a large car, the miser was just too heavy. It already overgrossed weight without passengers or fuel. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, listen, if you're like in a 90-pound six-year-old, that's your best bet. Great, good. And no fuel. Will you put a a small, like, pit bull puppy in there? Yeah, that's... Good to go. Good they also found loose parts and an earlier problem reared its head again. It's like, what were these people doing all this time? I think it probably, it, you know, it sounds like from, you know, Galpin Ford saying I'm interested in press conferences. Oh, and then the thing it's is like, like Theranos almost. It, it's like, yeah, you know, like we're feel successful. People are mm. believing in us. Therefore, yeah. it will oh, we're be. We're going to do it. We're going to ignore the obvious problems because we are engineers and we yeah. should kind of see them. But that slows down the momentum. You're right. So uh, now that uh, Henry Smol- Smolinski died, the Miser Project was shelved and the AVE was shut down. It's easy to say that the Pinto, a car famous for being a death trap itself mm-hmm. on the ground. Should Without never wings and an engine, the yeah. car is unsafe. But he did make it fly even for a few moments when so many others uh, tried to get their flying car off the ground. Sure. He, he did it. He did sure. it. So there was a bit of success in that, but I think mm-hmm. it was just... Uh, uh, just overlooking so many things. Yeah. There's plane and there's car. Yeah. This a little bit of success is really negated by the deaths and failures. Yeah. So, so. I, I mean, if you, if you're a glass half full type of person, like yep. get it, but I got to go. My oh car, yeah. There's, I think, <laughs> there's our Mizar. Bye. <laughs>